This is News Hour on CCTV News. Ying Hang joins us now with the latest in sports. Good afternoon, Ying Hang. Good afternoon to you, Panda. We go to the 2014 Nanjing Youth Olympics at the top of the show, and the swimming pool was the hottest, a hottest place in the host city on Tuesday as China took to the water to pan for more gold. The men's 100 meter butterfly, China's Li Zhuohao, headed to the final with the best time of the group, and the 15 year old maintained his good form, still trailing here about 20 meters to the finish. Zhu would stay a spectacular comeback and complete the race first in 52.94 seconds, which was only 0.03 seconds faster than Russia's Alexandra Sadovnikov and Australia's Nicholas Brown placed third. An amazing race by Zhu. And China dominated the women's 100-meter freestyle final in Shangdu, won gold in 53.84 seconds. And Chiu Yuhan picked up bronze with the Hong Kong Chinese Xiu Bing Han and Hong Ge taking the second po spot on the podium. And in the women's 200-meter backstroke, first place would be shared as both Italy's Ambra Esposito and USA's Hannah Moore finished in 2 minutes 10.42 seconds. With Spain's Africa Azamonado then settling for third place. While the golf event at Hedov, uh, the Zhongshan International Club and Marcus uh, Kingholt from Sweden and Brett Coletta from Australia share the lead among the man and are guarding opening round of 66 against 6 under par. Four players are tied for first place in the women's event at 69. The Virginia Elena Carter from Italy, South Korea's Lee So Yong and Maria Shihara of Japan and Chen Sui Chia from Chinese Taipei. And the highlight of the day was a hole in one by Tony Gill of Canada. The 16 year old didn't realize that he has taken a place in Olympic history by becoming the first player to hold a pult from the tee in Olympic competition. Well, definitely uh, worth watching again. Well, the lucky boy got a certificate for the shot and is tied for fifth place on the leaderboard. Well, there were a few surprises. On the third day of the fencing competition in a man's foil event, uh, Andrei uh, Radikovsky uh, took the Youth Olympic title, having dominated the tournament. The poll eventually finishing off with a confident 15-13 win over 50 uh, seed uh, Chua Shuing Ying Ryan of Hong Kong, China. Well, in the women's saber, world number one Alina Moskyo of Russia easily powered through the rounds from the morning's fall to her last bow, and where she defeated number six seed Chiara Krovroy of Italy 15-10, and Petra Sevny of Hungary won bronze medal. In the women's 10-meter air rifle, China's Pei Rui Zhao performed well at the start, but then a series of nine-point shots dropped her into the sixth place at last, with Lindsay Sarah Honan claimed the gold with a score of just a six-tenth of a point, more than Singapore's Martina Veloso and Julia Bart of Germany won bronze. Now to the women's 58-kilogram weightlifting final, where Chinese Taipei's Chang Ning Xing succeeded in all six attempts to claim the gold with 203 kilograms. The result is eight more than the silver medalist, Russia's Anastasia Petrova, while Argentina's Sata Nivias finished third. Also on Tuesday, the semi-finals for men and women in the Rugby 7 was staged at the Youth Olympic Sports Park Rugby Field. In the women's event, the game between China and Canada was closed throughout, and China took the lead in the second half, but Canada fought back and ultimately proved the stronger team. Canada will meet Australia in the final, and China will play off against the USA for the bronze. On the men's side, Argentina beat Kenya 19-12 and France defeated Fiji 34-12. The two winners will fight it out for the title in the final, while Kenya will take against Fiji for the bronze medal.